Hello crafters, welcome to my channel Amy Makes That where I post content weekly all about the Cricut craft business tips and Cricut project tutorials like today's video. Today I am teaching you how to make a cake topper with your Cricut. I recently posted a video on my TikTok and Instagram but a few of you were asking please Amy let's get a YouTube tutorial so you ask and you shall receive. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so excited you're here. So if you enjoy Cricut content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. Now let's get into the tutorial. Say hello to voiceover Amy. The first step into making a cake topper is to obviously type out our text. The font that I'm using is a downloaded font that I did purchase and I will link that in the video description. It is a beautiful script font and I'm making this for my really good friend's mom's birthday. She's turning 60. So she picked out this script font and I typed out the word 60. Again, personal preference too. If you want to do the numbers 60, that is great. If not, you can type it out as well. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. In order to make a cake topper, all of the letters have to be closely connected to one another. Nothing can be apart and the one thing that is, is the little dot on top of the I. Because if you think about it, how is the I supposed to just float? It can't. So anytime that you make a cake topper with text or words, the they have to be squished together. And to do that, you will just minimize the letter spacing. But in this case, the script letters are perfectly together. So I have a little trick to fix the eye. I took the shape tool and selected a circle, made it a little bit bigger and sliced it. Now let's zoom in a little bit here and now I can freely move the eye and push it closer to the word 60. So that way the Cricut will cut everything as one selected piece. And then once you have it attached, then we can highlight both the text and the dot and click the weld button. And then I adjusted the size to make it the appropriate size for the cake. Usually cake toppers are around five-ish inches, depending on the size of your cake. Then I'm going to click make it and continue. I adjusted it on the digital mat and then clicked continue to set the base material. Now this part is super important because I've had quite a lot of comments asking Amy, what setting do you use for your materials? Now this will also depend on the type of cardstock you have, which I will show in just a few seconds but what works best for me and the cardstock that I have is the setting glitter cardstock but the pressure is going to be adjusted to more. And here's the cardstock. I selected this beautiful rose gold color in the cardstock section in Michaels, which will be linked in the video description as well. And I am adhering the whole piece of it to the mat. You can cut it if you'd like, but personally, I think it's easier just to put the whole thing on the mat. And since this cardstock is on the thicker side rather than from vinyl, I like to add some painter's tape just to the side and top to make sure it is fully adhered to the mat. That way the cardstock doesn't move around when the Cricut is cutting the words. Then I will insert it into the Cricut, press the arrow button and let the Cricut go to work. Once it's done, we will click the arrow button and start removing the tape. And then you can see the outline here, but it cut beautifully like butter. I usually flip over the mat and remove it, but in this case, I cut it so well that I didn't have to flip over the mat. And then I'll always save the cardstock for any other future projects. Then you can take your weeder tool and just weed out those little holes of the S and the Y. The next step is to carefully, carefully remove the cardstock from the mat. I like to take my flipper tool. I know it's called a spatula, but I call it a flipper. And I carefully go right underneath and just slide it all the way under. This will help remove it carefully and not break it because this font is on the thinner side. So you wanna make sure that you're very delicate. Now, I didn't have time to buy the cake topper toothpicks from Amazon, so I ran to Michael's and got these cake toppers and literally just removed the crowns off of them. It worked just as fine. 
Then we will take our hot glue gun and glue the back of the cake topper. Be very careful, you don't wanna to do too much because then it will poke out from the front. And then we can apply the toothpick to the back of the cardstock. I applied some pressure just so I know that it was really on the cardstock. And then you can do the same thing for the other side. Since this is a longer cake topper, I had to do two toothpicks. If you do a much simpler design, like if you chose to do six zero, you would only need one and your cake topper is ready to be used. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let's close out this video. And that is it for today's craft tutorial on how to make a cake topper with your Cricut. Please let me know what you thought of it in the comment section and if you've tried making a cake topper with your Cricut. And as always, don't forget to tag me if you do make one because I love seeing your renditions of my Cricut project tutorials. Thank you so much for supporting and watching my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.